Hey, okay, um, one of the things that I do know is that can people, people can impact one another. Uh, and negative emotions directed at another person can impact them. Uh, you can feel them if you open up your sensitivities. I've said over the years, to live a sensational life, you have to open up your sensitivities. It's not more comfortable. A lot of the systems out there say, okay, we'll shut you down and make life more comfortable. Uh, that's not the life for me. Uh, life is a painful event. It's a magnificent event. I want to experience the highs and the lows. But I also know that life is an illusion. Much of life is an illusion. That there's this oneness that surpasses all the duality that we see. And yes, no, black, white, dark, light, um, yin, yang, war, peace, all that duality is an illusion. But within the context of the illusion, things do happen. And like I said, I know that people can impart energy and impact one another. Uh, a lot of people who have New Age beliefs have told me that if they don't want me to, I can't impact them. So I playfully... Hmm, wait around a corner, and when they come around a corner, I jump out and go, Pow! and uh, most of them jump, most of them jump, and I point out to them that I've impacted with them, and I don't think that they want me to impact them, but I was doing a seminar, and I, what set this off is I got a phone call last night from a client uh, who did a class years ago, a lesbian, and she was in the class with her partner, and uh, relationships are tough to begin with, and then if you go into the minority relationships, uh, lesbian or homosexual relationships, they, they're tougher because of the social pressures, for one thing. And then two yin units working together are tough, and two yang units are uh, difficult. But uh, there was some friction going on, and I, I will provoke people to see how they respond so that they can see how they respond. Not so they can change it, because that's their choice then. I provoke them so that it's to see if they see what they're doing. Because so much of what we do is unconscious. So much of what we do, we do it, and then it's like, oh, I mean, that's how I learned to do it. And I provoked one half of the lesbian unit. Something that I said, provocative, I said. But the provocation was directed at this woman who called me last night. She turned and hurled a bolt of energy at me. Now, I may be crazy, but I know they exist. I see them, I watch them. And normally, when I've been training, these bolts of energy hit and they're painful. I'd watched a couple of years earlier, my mentor, Martin, training a class and the same sort of energetic bolt coming at him and I watched him sidestep it. I didn't do such a good job at it. It was uncomfortable for me. I thought, wow, someday I'm going to do that. Someday I'm going to be Neo in the Matrix, and I'm going to realize that I don't have to die in the Matrix. In fact, I don't even have to get hurt within the Matrix. I'm going to be able to... And when it happened, I saw it come, and I saw it, and I felt it, but it had no impact. It whiffed through me, and I was so fascinated with the fact that that was possible, that finally I had learned to do that. It was just... And so I'm reveling in this. This woman is furious. She's still yelling at me, but I'm so enamored with the, this new uh, skill that I've just learned. <laughs> but I look over, and the, this woman, there's the, here's the line between me and her, and on either side there's a woman and a man in the class, and both the woman and the man in the class look around, and it looks like they'd survived a bomb blast. And they're both looking at me like this. They both look and said, what just happened? <laughs> and I said... I just entered, entered the matrix. I just got, for the first time, that I can let this stuff go all the way through me and I don't have to die within the matrix. I, I, the illusion has been complete. Uh, thanks for putting up with me. Uh, have a fun day. www.micbigperformance.com